All right. So this is a... Honestly, I don't know what year it is. But it is a Chrysler in, uh, Imperial. Imperial. Or New Yorker. One of the two. Uh, it doesn't have an engine. <laughs> and this thing is in completely garbage shape. This is... It's gone. It's got some good body panels left on it. Oh. Before I start talking, I apologize about the noise. Okay, I apologize about the noise and wind. I'm doing this just with a phone. I do this as a hobby. Uh... I do this as a hobby, so I do apologize for the wind and all that. But other than that, yeah. They must be doing flying lessons. Well, uh,. Anyway, with that out of the way, I do apologize for all the noise and all that, but with that out of the way, this is a, I, I don't know, Chrysler. Uh, I know it's a Chrysler. It's either an Imperial or a New Yorker. I believe this is a New Yorker. Uh, nothing in the engine bay. It was originally a V6 making around 120-ish horsepower. 150 foot-pounds of torque. I do want to say that's the bigger motor, though. It, was, it could have been a four-cylinder. The coolest one is a turbo. There's a four-cylinder turbo hooked up to, I don't know, some sort of slush box transmission, but it's a turbo. <laughs> it does have the roll-up headlights, and this particular Chrysler is uh, way, way gone. You'll, you'll see when I get to the side of it, uh, or if you've seen it from the thumbnail does have the roll-up headlights. I very seriously doubt they work anymore. But let me show you how far gone this one is. I think these are pretty neat cars, even if they are abysmally, well, absolutely, undisputably bad. Uh, the engine isn't. The body itself, everything around it's a piece of garbage. The engine's pretty good, if it's a four-cylinder. And uh, I say this one's completely unsalvageable. It'd be, it's got some decent stuff still left on the interior for parts. I wouldn't use them seats, even though they look pretty decent. I wouldn't use them. I ain't no telling what's living up in them things. Uh, headliner's still up. Plastic pieces are good. I would clean the dash. I'd reuse that and the steering wheel. All the trim pieces. Door's still good. The window's still good. It's missing this door, but hey, who cares? Oh, another jet. It was a Lando. I think that's how you pronounce that. The vinyl's still good. Actually, honestly, this car might still be good if you put in a bunch of time and effort into it, but I wouldn't do that. Well, they're definitely doing flying lessons today. The grill's good. There's a lot of good parts left on this car. Uh, I wouldn't do... I wouldn't... I'd scrap it out. I'd, well, I wouldn't scrap it out. I'd strip all the good parts off of it for one that needed it. But, uh... If I were to get my hands on this car, if the interior... If, ever, if the underneath was still good, what I said I'd do is throw another door on there. Uh... Throw another door on it gut it out, strip it out, and put a K motor in it. I know K swaps are done all to death, but a twin turbo, let's say 400 horsepower Honda engine in this thing? Or heck, even get new interior. They're not that rare of a car. They're not common anymore by no means. But, uh, get nicer interior, put it in there. Because at least 
redo this interior. I would, the seats don't look bad, but I would not trust them. Redo the interior and leave it just like this other than the door. Fix the door. And you'd have a pretty neat sleeper on your hands. Uh, sorry for the shaky cam again. And you'd have a pretty cool sleeper on your hands. Uh, I think I already went over the horsepower of this car. It's abysmal. It's bad. This car weighs probably about, if I had to guess, because again, I don't know. Uh, please do not quote me on anything. I'm sure somebody who knows more about Chrysler's will tell me. Uh, there's always seems to be at least one person who stumbled across my videos. Well, uh, I'm sure everything I've said about this car is wrong. I know the turbo is right, but I don't know if it's right for this year. Because I don't know what year this one is. Because I found one with a turbo in it before. I wanted it. I just couldn't afford it at the time. Or I probably could have, but I had a running car right then. Or it was too far away. There was, something, there was some reason I couldn't get it, or I didn't want to get it. I think it was too far away. But anyway, I'm trolling off. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to see one of these things with all with everything still looking like it used to be, but with a K motor underneath or some sort of V6, V8 front wheel drive swap, something like that. They're definitely. I do want to apologize about that. They're definitely training pilots today. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, that's about all I can say about this car. Even if they are atrociously bad, I still like these. I have a fondness for 80s, ugly, uh, Luxury, <laughs> luxury cars. Well, with that being said, I guess I'm going to end the video here because I've ran out of things to talk about. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want to help out the channel. It really does help. And uh, I have a Discord if you want to talk to me about cars or something in there. Talk to some random guy on the internet you don't know about cars. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, if you want to join it, it's open. It's probably going to be a mess when I get people in there, if anybody ever joins. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.